Hello from South Germany, dear road trip lovers, and let's embark today on a trip on the National Road B10 through the federal state of Baden-Württemberg between the cities of Ulm and Stuttgart. Filmed once the A8 motorway between uh, these two cities, also a very nice drive. Please feel free to check that video too. But now it's time for a deeper exploration of the Swabish Alb, High Plateau, and the Fils River Valley. We are gonna pass through or by some beautiful towns on the way, like Geislingen an der Steige, Göppingen or Esslingen, so stay tuned for a nice drive. We start near Ulm on the A8 motorway, but uh, we'll soon exit um, it uh, to drive on uh, the B10 National Road westbound. Ulm is a regional center situated on the Danube at the confluence with uh, the river Iller. It has a population of about 126,000 inhabitants. It's uh, situated in the state of Baden-Württemberg, but it's uh, just on the border with Bavaria, at an altitude of about 560 meters. It's surrounded by hills and forests, has very, very nice surroundings. On the Bavarian side, there is the town of Neu-Ulm, or New Ulm, with uh, about 50,000 inhabitants. They formed the city until 1810 and function now basically as a city nowadays. Ulm has a rich history, being first mentioned in 1850. It was very important during the Middle Ages and is now an, import and is now an important economical center with varied industries and uh, is mostly known for the church with the highest steeple in the world, 161 meters high and as being the birthplace of um, the scientist Albert Einstein. Besides the cathedral, there are some other sites in the city, like the fisherman's quarter, with many half-timpered houses and cobblestone streets on picturesque uh, footbridges and picturesque footbridges. The remaining section of the city walls, with the uh, butcher's towers, tower, built in the 14th century, can also be admired. Uh, also the beautiful city hall from 1370, featuring brilliant colored uh, murals. There are also some other nice buildings in the historical center, so I can only recommend to take your time and visit the, the beautiful Ulm. And to better uh, understand its beauty, let's see some pics taken during my visit there. Enjoy them and then we'll hit the road further to Stuttgart. And in the hope that the photos from Ulm gave you a better understanding of how beautiful the city is, let's drive further on the B10 National Road. We are first crossing the Swabin Alp High Plateau. It's a very nice um, hilly area with altitudes between 600 and 900 meters. We are crossing the European watershed here at about 620 meters in altitude. From the highest point we will then be continuously descending until Stuttgart, driving through Geislingen an der Steige. From uh, Gingen an der Fils until Stuttgart, the B10 is built as, a, as an expressway with two lanes per direction and grade separation. But it has some reduced speed limits. Pay attention for speed cameras, there are quite a few on the way. We will pass by important towns like Köppingen and Esslingen with picturesque historical uh, old, old course. 
Geisling and Andersteige, the first important town on the way, is known for the steep ascent of the main railway between Ulm and Stuttgart. The railway uses the same corridor as the B10, so we'll see it uh, many times from the road. A new high-speed railway is being built as we speak and will be finished during the next years, probably, most probably in 2023. The high-speed railway will use the corridor of the A8 motorway. The construction site is to be seen for many kilometers while driving um, on the A8. Besides the steep ascent um, of the railway, the town of Geislingen is known also for its very, very nice position, embedded in uh, five beautiful uh, valleys, surrounded by the heights of the Swabin Alb. The medieval old town core with uh, old Alemannic half-timbered houses is very picturesque and definitely deserves a visit. As you see, there are many things to see and do here, both for nature, culture and history lovers. From uh, Geislingen, we will drive further on uh, towards Stuttgart. The valley becomes wider and the road, the road turns into a two lanes per direction expressway. The next important town on the way is Göppingen. It's a regional center with about 60,000 inhabitants, situated in the valley of the river fields. It uh, has also a beautiful old town with some interesting buildings. And nearby the, there are also the ruins of the Hohenstaufen fortress, dating back from the 11th century. As we are getting closer to Stuttgart, we are passing by Esslingen am Neckar, a very interesting town of about 92,000 inhabitants, with a very, very long history being first mentioned in the, in the 8th century. It was a free, free imperial uh, town starting from 1181. The town has many beautiful half-timbered houses in its picturesque, picturesque medieval old town, some dating back from the 13th century, being among the, the oldest in Germany. I can only recommend visiting Esslingen, saw it a few years ago, stayed on weekend here and had a great time discovering it. Also the surroundings with many wine yards are very beautiful and invite for a walk. But uh, now enough talking and let's enjoy this uh, beautiful and very drive with some music and I'll be back towards the end of it as we'll be in Stuttgart to say some words about this uh, very important city, the capital of the state of Baden-Württemberg. So relax, sit back and enjoy the ride. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time Clear to see from up here, the world seems small. We can sit together, it's so beautiful. You and me, we meant to be in the great outdoors. Forever free Truth, love. 
with you. I can't be sad with you. Just take my hand and fly up through the dreams where the skies are so clear. With you, I wanna stay with you. With you, I love the way that you love me today. Let's run up through the fields where the sun shines and heals. With you, I wanna stay with you. It's been so cold.
Here I am back again as we are already driving since a few kilometers uh, through, through Stuttgart. The city is the capital and largest city in the state of Baden-Württemberg. It's located on the Neckar River in a fertile valley at an altitude of about 250 meters, having a population of about 63, uh, 635,000 inhabitants, but uh, a much, much larger metropolitan area with uh, many smaller towns around and the, popul the total population of about 2.8 million people. The city of Stuttgart started to develop itself from the, during the Middle Ages. The castle and the city wall were built during um, the first decades of the 14th century and it became the seat of the Duchy of uh, Württemberg in 1495. 
the third year war and the bubonic plague brought destruction and uh, the decrease of the population, starting a period of economical decline that uh, lasted until mid 18th century. Some of the city landmarks, like the Wilhelm Palace, the State Gallery, the Villa Berg, Katharina Hospital, were built in the first half of the 19th century, marking the start of a period of uh, massive economical development. The population exceeded the 100,000 uh, inhabitants mark in 1874 and the 200,000 uh, inhabitants mark in 1904. Stuttgart has a great industrial heritage, being the location of the automobile's invention by Karl Benz, industrialized uh, by Gottlieb Daimler and uh, Wilhelm Maybach in a small workshop that would become the Daimler Motor Company in 1887. As a result, it is considered to be the starting point of the worldwide automotive industry. Today, Mercedes-Benz and Porsche have their headquarters in the city, as well as automotive parts giants Bosch and Male. The city was severely damaged during um, air raids in the Second World War. More than 50% of the whole buildings of the city were destroyed during 53 bombing raids. After the war, Stuttgart was rebuilt in a modernist way. The population, halved by the Second World War, began increasing again with a massive influx of uh, German refugees from uh, areas that were not anymore part of Germany after the war. The economical revival brought also many economic migrants from uh, South European countries. Even if uh, many of the city's historical areas were destroyed and never rebuilt, there are a lot of things to do and see here in Stuttgart, like the old and the new castle, the King Wilhelm Palais, National Theater or the Market Hall. In the center of the city uh, lies a series of garden, gardens, starting with the Castle Gardens. There is also a planetarium, the uh, zoological and botanical gardens. The beautiful Rosenstein Park contains uh, many old trees planted by King, King Wilhelm I and it is considered the la largest English-style garden in South Germany. There are also many interesting museums to see in Stuttgart, like the Old State Gallery, the State Museum of uh, Württemberg, the History Museum, among others. The most uh, visited uh, museum is the uh, Mercedes-Benz Museum, tracing the 135 years of uh, history of the automobile. Also definitely very interesting for, car, for fast car fans is the uh, Porsche Museum. We just drove past it. So, like I said, a lot of things to see and do here in Stuttgart and one can easily spend one week in the city and the region as there are some other very interesting places nearby like Tübingen, Esslingen or Ludwigsburg to name just three of them. And at the end of the video I'll put some photos I took during a visit of the city some years ago. So unfortunately they are not of the best quality, being shot with an older camera. It was in, I think, in 2014, so some years ago, like I said, but I plan to come back to Stuttgart in the future and visit it uh, properly once again. And in the hopes that you enjoy this trip, stay tuned for more videos from our road trips on this channel, and bye-bye, till the next time, and let's see the photos from Stuttgart.